welcome to the national car park of the UK, the M25. 5.34 on the M25. This isn't going to be fun. Focus. And we've arrived. Well, when I say we've arrived, I'm now at Enfield Morrison's to get me some tea. And I'm joined by some... No, demonetization. Lovely people. So, yeah. Half past six, made really good time, got here in three hours, which I was quite pleased with. Now off to get myself a salad from Morrison's and then gonna go and meet the guys at the ground. No, on the health train. Where's the salad? Where's the salad door? And we're good to go. And we've arrived. God for that. This place looks cool though. For a ground with an athletics track, it's pretty good. I hate the athletics tracks normally, but it's not too bad. They've actually put it inside the athletics track, so you're still close to the pitch. <clears throat> I think Ellis came here, and I think the atmosphere looks really good, so I'm looking forward to this one. They're home to Maidstone United in the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup. Yeah, I don't remember who the winners have in the first round, though. I'll have to check that. But this is a really cool ground. For one with an athletics track, as I say, really, really cool ground. That is a decent clubhouse, that. <clears throat> Everyone must know now that the winner of today's game will travel to play Cheltenham Town in the first round in the first weekend in November. Please note that... So a bit of context for if any of you have just joined me on this first video. So I'm from Bristol, it's currently Tuesday night and I'm in Enfield which is about 280 mile round trip. So most people probably think, well they're right, I am mad for coming here tonight. But I'm doing it on part of my Road to Wembley challenge where I'm trying to go from the very first round in the FA Cup all the way to the final in May. Um, and this is the fourth qualifying round and I couldn't make it on Saturday due to family commitments and sometimes other things just have to come first. So, had to compromise, I've had to do this instead, which was a real, real challenge getting here um, for kickoff. but I've managed it, the traffic was okay. And yeah, as I've said many times in the vlogs previously, this is all part of my charity ground hopping challenge, where I'm trying to visit as many football grounds as I can in one year for Prostate Cancer UK. Um, I'm currently at 66, well on track for my target of 100, and I should easily surpass that now. So, links in the description below. Uh, please go and donate, I've raised £1,500 so far. So, yeah, long old trip, I'm hoping for some goals. Normally I'd want penalties, but I'd quite like to get home a reasonable hour tonight, so not too keen tonight, but yeah. Once this round's done, it's then the first round. And I've got loads of good ties to choose from following the draw yesterday. Um, all depends on the TV fixtures, but I've got plenty lined up, so hopefully some goals tonight. Please, please some goals tonight. Another interesting fact that I've just found out about this club, they were formed in 2001 and they're the first ever fan owned club. They set a very, very good trend. A number of big clubs have followed suit, so good to be here now. Didn't know that. Three, 
Dan Rubens. Four, Darren Purse. Five, Taylor McKenzie. Six, Adam Martin. Seven, Ryan Blackman.
So I'm ducking out about six minutes to go. Currently 3-1 to Maidstone. Hopefully I won't miss anything else, but I've got a three hour journey home and it's already already 10.07, so it's already gonna be 1 a.m. at least. But I've had a fantastic night. Another round ticked off. So that's seven done, seven to go, I think, six or eight to go. Something like that, nearly, nearly halfway at least. Um, so yeah, I had a really, really good night. Very good performance, cracking atmosphere, amazing round. Especially with the athletics track, it was actually a decent round with the athletics track, so that was pleasing. So yeah, all in all, really good. If you have enjoyed, please do leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you on the weekend for Bristol City against Leeds United in the Leeds end with Matt. So take care and see you. Bye.